What's going on, guys? So, we're going to be doing some more spectating commentary, because uh, I'm still trying to look for like, a deck I feel solid with. Um, so, our opponent here did Pod Duality. I have no idea what he went for, but uh, maybe it was a Sang. <laughs> but, uh, so, this game just started. Uh, again, everyone's really high ranked here. It's all 1,200-ish. Um, so, we got a 1,200 and a 1,500. So, uh, Sacred. Oh, I've never really seen the Sacreds in action too much. All right, so... Oh, he's going to get two summons. Uh, kind of like a Marauding Captain, I'm guessing. Okay. Um, okay. When it's normal summon, I don't think you get as a. F oh, does it give you another normal? Okay, so he gets another normal summon. Okay, so it does get the effect. That's pretty cool though. But it does have to be a sacred monster, so he gets a search out. Okay, so he does actually plus off that, so it's not really a minus. Um, but I mean, if he just summoned this card, which is what a thousand attacker, and then they go uh, minus with it, like uh, say you saw him warning the other card that he summons, then he's stuck with a thousand attack mode. So that's like the downside of the sacred. Um, so let's go for a uh, defensive Zen mains here. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty decent game. It's going to be like uh, saving up cards for like big pushes, which is all about, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! I like that. Rather than like the all-in first turns, which is kind of how Yu-Gi-Oh! has gotten uh, this format. This, now this doesn't make sense right here. Okay, so, well, I, I kind of call that Sangan, even though I didn't even see it. Um, but anyways, oh, so he's playing Insectors. Okay, so this is, I don't understand this guy's play in the blue. Um, so he attacks with Zen mains when he could have attacked one turn ago. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, if he was afraid of the back rows, why did he decide to attack this turn? I mean, if he's going to deprison the guy's Zen mains, he'd deprison it anyways. It's not like he'd deprison it the next turn just for a Sangan search. I mean, you want to get rid of Zemians as fast as possible. Um, so Psalm Warning. That is pretty good. I think with Insectors, they're so much better because you can just, you know, call the Haunted them. Um... Because with Dragoon Indies, like, you have to be normal summon, like, you know, like the Ackleys. Ooh. Oh, so he destroyed that card, I believe. And then he gets his special summon. Some pretty good stuff over here. Oh, he's gonna bottomless it. It's pretty dirty. <coughs> but I mean, like, he still nets so many card advantages off of that. Um. Yeah, I'm sure he really hopes he has a prison. But, I mean, you saw how many cards uh, the guy in blue had to use just to, like, prevent that play, and he still has a monster on the field. Um, the insect is basically, like, plus two right there, easily. Before damage. Book of Moon has a monster? Okay. I thought Book and Zed would have been possibly better. But, yeah, depending on his hand, which I can't see. Um... But yeah, Insector can just like do the effect again anyways. Uh, which is, again, why uh, I don't see why he didn't book him with Zen mains. Therefore, like, you know, Zen mains couldn't activate the effect. That's the reason. Um, so I, I believe that that was a misplay. Um, but that was a play that he could have improved on. Definitely. Um... Are you supposed to take... Okay, he did take 300. I love that. I don't even have to worry about math. <laughs> Unless they mess up on math. Um, so he's hitting the back row. I don't understand why you're getting rid of the back row. Like, I mean, obviously, Zen means you don't have to attack multiple times, but... I don't know. I still think he should have booked him in Zen Mains and then destroyed... Because it has to have be face up. Maybe that's why. Yeah, target one card in the field. So, like, you could use it. So yeah, I, I believe that was misplay. I wish I could click on the graveyard. Um, uh, that is so plus right there with those insectors. Which are coming out quite soon. Uh, 
that's pretty good. Uh, what is it, once per turn? Ooh, Dark Iron. <laughs> well, this guy's going all in. This is pretty intense. I, I'm digging the insect hurts. Uh... I might, like, try them out. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been PMing me to, like, try out Insectors. Because they seem really good. Um, I just really don't know them too well. Um, and then I know that you usually run, like, um, three Dragonfly and, I believe, three Hornet. And then one Gigamantis. And then the Centipedes. So that was pretty good. Because you could just... Ooh. I don't know about that play, to be honest. Unless, I mean, well, actually, you know, he could get it back with Levier. Because I was going to say, he doesn't need to, like, destroy his enemies because he can attack over it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it could, it's game anyways. But yeah, obviously, love you already there. That was a pretty cool game. But uh, let me know what you guys think of Insectors, because I think that they're pretty good. I mean, every time I play against them, though, I just kind of, like, just drop the uh, Valor. But that's because I run three Valor and three Maxi in, like, 90% of my decks. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um... But, uh, I mean, he did win. But let me know if you guys thought that that was a, like, a bad play as far as Book of Mooning uh, his own Insector. Because I thought Book of Mooning Zen Mains would have been better just because that he can like, blow up the Zen Mains easier. I mean, he did have the Dark Arm, so, I mean,